Welcome to the first infographic video. We are going to talk about the introduction of an infographic resume. Alright, an infographic is actually a simplified representation of a set of paragraph or a set of essays that want to be visualized instead of thousands and thousands of words that need to be read. Okay, so the visualization is actually a, in a simple form, easy to understand, aesthetically pleasant, and it helps us understand better with all the visuals. All right, it is not like before, even in previous days, let's say uh, Avicina or Ibn Sina, he wrote a book of medicals. All right, there are tons of words in there, but there are also a drawings in that book which shows and helps uh, the reader to understand it better. Even some of the novel nowadays include photos, all right? It is not like a conversation comic book, but it is a, a new set of transfer, a new way to transfer the knowledge from a set of paragraph into a visual form. So what makes a good infographic? All right, let us go through. An infographic, a good infographic actually tells you a story, make you understand it better. All right, through what? Through images, instead of just words and words. All right, through images, you can see it better, you can understand it better. Okay, a picture tells a thousand words. Yes, once you draw it, it has a kind of flow so it actually tells a story that is what a good in infographic is so similarly in your resume when you apply this concept actually you are telling a story about yourself all right secondly it takes the eyes on a predefined journey okay the mark of a good infographic is its effectiveness in communicating the message and the message is simply about yourself all right what you have been through throughout the the university life throughout your study what software what skills that you have developed throughout your studies and what you have to offer to the employer all right thirdly infographic must be or it is better if it is arranged in a structured manner so compared to writings just writings wordings and if and the infographics if both of them were arranged into a well-structured manner an infographic is easier and better to transfer the knowledge if you have a lot of textual information to present it is best to organize your infographic into sections so it is easier to read and scan the employer just need to scan they scan your 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 resume and immediately they will understand because you have highlighted such as make it bold make the font as bold or bigger to highlight what have you achieved your scores your marks and everything next infographic helps you to send one key message to the employer all right what are the key message of course you want the job so the one key message is actually your abilities 
to help them to fulfill what they want as as written in their job description next infographic of course way better than just a paragraph it is visually appealing as in many cases the first look or the first presentation is the most important or the first presentation matters okay to send it all at once to the employer now this is my resume please take a look the resume uh, the the employer just look at it within five minutes they already understand what you have achieved what the capabilities that you have all right which means their job description as they provided of course in in presenting visual in a resume must be at its the least least visual representation because unless unless you want to apply for a graphic designer but as for civil engineers one or two graphics is good enough first of course your image okay your face secondly perhaps you want to add up to highlight your expertise perhaps you are, you are experts in highway engineering so you put roads perhaps as a, a supportive visual in your infographic uh, perhaps you are more on geometric you can put the total stations or more on GIS you can put some maps as a support to show that you understand or to create the theme of your infographic but please don't make it too heavy okay let us proceed next yeah an infographic must be accurate and well researched because people can argue with so many things with a picture of an image just one picture it presents thousands of words description about that one picture so what i'm trying to say here is for an infographic where the main purpose of infographic is to transfer the knowledge through pictures so that particular pictures must be very very carefully created okay this type of information is for the employer one employer may communicate with other employers so it is, it is very important for you to make sure that everything that you put into your resume is not lying or everything must be true next is the types of infographic there are many types of infographic of course such as this one is a mixed chart there are so many charts in here informational or list timeline all right to explain uh, a changing behavior all right how to perhaps you want to draw a tutorial a process same you want to tell a procedure a comparison to compare between two or more things location to explain the locations all right this is perhaps very suitable for gis for those who like gis Okay, photographic, hierarchical, so many hierarchies, the most important or the, the lesser percentage, all right, at the top, and the most general, perhaps, the bigger percentage at the bottom, single chart, explaining only one thing, simple visualize numbers 
if something have to do a lot with numbers and it doesn't have any it can cannot be changed into a percentage perhaps so graph is not suitable perhaps number just the number itself is better the anatomy explaining such as the the explode image okay not an exploding things an explode image is actually the the breakdown of a let's say of a machines one machine you break it down you show its gear its mechanism inside that particular machine right and lastly is what we are going to learn which is the infographic resume where you tell your own story to the employer through graphical representation all right that's it for the infographic resume introduction if you have any questions please email it to me see you in the next video